Hey, this is Ash Bass. I'm going to show you in this video how to increase the value of a potentiometer, or as some people call them, pots, or as other people call them, volume controls and tone controls. It's all the same. I'm going to start here with a CTS brand pot. It's listed on the back as being 500K. And we're going to mess around with that value in a few moments. But first, let's see what the pot is actually valued at. So I hook up my multimeter on the outside lugs of the pot here, and I'm told that it's 467 K, not 500 K like the back of the pot says. Well, this is normal. I don't think I've ever had a 500 K pot straight out of the bag that measured 500. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to make this pot equal as to whatever we want it to. We're going to try to reach up to the 500 mark. I might end up being too low. I might end up being too high, but that's our goal. Now, first off, we're going to have to take the pot apart. So if you look at the pot casing, right at the top here, you'll see four metal tabs, two on either side. What we're going to do is lift those tabs so that we can pull the can off and see what's going on inside the pot here. I use a very small screwdriver to pry up each of the tabs. And when they're all pried up, I can just lift the whole pot apparatus out of the can. Next, I'm going to separate the pot apparatus into its respective pieces. I have the shaft here on the left in the picture. In the middle, the most important part is our carbon track. That's what we're going to deal with to change resistance and value. And on the right-hand side is just a little sleeve to hold the shaft in place. Right, and before we start here, we go ahead and test again to make sure what the value is of the track. Sometimes when you pull a can off, you gain a few K or you lose a few K when you measure. So I always like to start off fresh here with a new measurement. Once again, I'll have my multimeter leads on the outside lugs of the pot. Originally, it was 467. So now we're going to do the magic. So you can use your razor blade, just the tip, and very carefully scrape all the way around the edge, angling in the razor blade a little bit so that it does actually take off a little bit of the carbon track going around the top. Be careful. Go in very small, small increments. It is very, very easy to pull that razor blade zip right across the track and then you've kind of broken the track and the pot won't turn correctly anymore. So very carefully, very slowly, try to make sure you get all the way around. All right, so here I have done it once. I made it all the way around the carbon track one time and let's see what our new value is. So I've hooked my multimeter leads up to the outside lugs here of the wafer and our reading is 488K. So we gain 20K just by scraping the outside edge of that carbon track. We still have a little to go, though, to reach our goal. I could do another scrape all the way around the edge, tilting in the razor blade a little bit more so I could scrape a little bit more of the carbon off the track. However, I'm going to go with the inside track this time. Same rules. I'm going to scrape around the inside of the track with the edge of the razor blade barely angled over to touch the track itself. And I'll remove a fine bit of carbon around the inside. So having done that, we'll hook the leads of the multimeter up again. And what do we get this time? 500K. So 500K after two rounds of scraping on the carbon track. One round on the outside, one round on the inside. Our pot went from 467 up to 500. We just have to put it all back together. I'll just pull the three pieces of the apparatus together, the shaft, the wafer, and the sleeve, settle them back inside the can. And the last thing we need to do is reclamp those tabs. And let's do one more measure, just to make sure it's the same as it was when we left it as a wafer. And sure enough, here we have a 500K pot, ready to drop into my volume control or tone control, wherever else I might need it. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments.